man. We want to do everything better than this. Just, just because. Just because. Just in case somebody needs one. I might need him. Yeah, right. <laughs> need My ten over. seconds of talking.
I'm glad we're here.
Everybody, come on in and have a seat. God, I didn't mean for you to get so quiet all of a sudden. Football guys, I know y'all aren't going to take a seat. Is everybody? Huh? What, uh, did I get you? Hey, everybody. I want to welcome everybody here today. My name is Charles White. I'm the VP for Communications and Marketing. Uh, and really, my message is just to our members of the media that are here. Uh, Coach Cotri will have some formal um, comments in here today uh, once he's through uh, and he gets to speak to everybody and you get to see uh, his lovely family. Uh, he'll be available out in the lobby if you'd like to get one-on-ones. But for Todd, Larry Hilliard, and the rest of our media folks, uh, he'll be available for one-on-ones when, when we're done. But uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, now we'll formally get started. And I'd like to introduce Limestone University Acting President Jeremy Whitaker. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Limestone University, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome each and every one of you here today for our introductory press conference of our new head football coach. The success that we've had over the past two years in our football program is nothing short of remarkable. It's brought great excitement to our campus and has great, brought great recognition to Limestone University overall across the nation. That being said, under the new leadership and guidance and direction of our new head football coach, I truly believe that our best days are ahead of us. For more information on our new head football coach and to officially introduce him, please welcome Haley Martin, our Vice President of Intercollegiate Athletics. All right, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day, right? Um, so welcome again to Limestone University for such an exciting day for not only our university, but for our athletic department and for our um, football program. What a great day to be a saint, right? Um, so it's certainly no secret he'll be serving as the sixth head coach of our Limestone University football program. After the announcement was made earlier this month, we literally broke the internet, I, I believe. Um, the response to Jericho Cotchery being our new head coach has been absolutely incredible on such a national level. Um, it has been, it's been amazing to be a part of. So we certainly wish Coach Mike Furry great success in his new role as the wide receivers coach at the University of South Carolina. What a great honor for him. The mark he left on our limestone program will never be forgotten, especially the past two seasons as he guided our Saints to NCAA Division II playoffs um, in two consecutive years. We will always have a special place in our heart for Coach Furry and his family, and we wish them all the best. We are also thankful that he brought to his staff two years ago Jericho Cotchery as his wide receivers coach. During that time, we fell in love with him as a university. Um, the student athletes fell in love with him, and he earned the admiration and respect of our players and all of our other coaches here in our department. The successes that he enjoyed during his playing days at NC State and then at the National Football League are absolutely tremendous, along with his time as an assistant wide receivers coach at the Carolina Panthers. After learning from Coach Furry about the opportunity at USC, I knew in that moment who I'd offer the position to. Um, it was no question. So the next call that I made to was, was to our acting president that evening. I explained to Jeremy Whitaker immediately what my decision was, and within 10 minutes later, I was on the phone with um, Coach Cotchery. During that call, 
Coach Cotri explained to me that he believed that Limestone University was a gold mine, and I believe so too, and that we could have great success here. As soon as I announced that we were naming uh, Coach Cotri as our next head coach, the team erupted into loud cheers of joy. And what a special moment that was for us um, to witness. That was an absolute win for us. So we were already 100% confident with our decision, but the student athletes' reaction and the staff's reaction solidified that. It was a great win that day. So again, thank you all for being here today in this beautiful weather. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, please help us welcome Limestone University head football coach, Coach Jericho Cotchery. Exciting times, exciting times. I've been saying that the entire off season. Uh, the fellas have uh, heard me say that uh, on a consistent basis, and I feel no different today. Uh, I want to thank all of you for, for coming out here, uh, making your way through the rain and the thunder and the lightning uh, to come support, support me in this, uh, in this introduction. And uh, so I want to thank all of the coaches uh, across uh, across the university uh, for all of the support that you guys have given me uh, throughout this time. Uh, it, it has been uh, truly uh, heartwarming in every way. Uh, and so I thank you for that. Uh, but before I get too far in this, I do want to thank God the Father of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, by his spirit bringing this about. Uh, I want to thank uh, our AD Haley Martin and our acting president Jeremy Whit Whitaker for uh, the swift nature in which you guys moved to make me the new head football coach here. Uh, I will for forever be grateful for this opportunity. I want to thank my wonderful wife uh, for almost 20 years now uh, for all of the unwavering support uh, that you have given me throughout the years. Uh, you are the reason why I'm able to stand up here uh, and, and have this day. Uh, just watching you and uh, spearhead, you know, homeschooling five kids um, while all the while running uh, an interior design business uh, is, is, is nothing short of amazing. And so I thank you for everything. I thank you for my amazing kids, uh, for always cheering on daddy. Um, it, is, uh, it is a great blessing to be able to uh, be your dad. And so I thank you guys. Um, I want to thank, um, man. I want to thank my parents. Um, my dad is no longer with us, uh, but uh, they made a decision almost 35 years ago to say yes uh, to that Pop Warner coach, uh, that Pop Warner football coach, to allow me to come out. Uh, my mom was hesitant uh, because she was very protective of me going out on the field, but my dad said, you better let him go. And, um, and, and off I went. Uh, it is, throughout the years, they were very encouraging of my love for football, they, they, they spurred me along uh, in every way. I wanna thank all of my family and friends, uh, the coaches throughout the years uh, that brought me to this point uh, as well. Uh, my staff, awesome group to work with, man. And, uh, and so, I'm so I'm so thankful for you guys. Uh, I'm so thankful for the support uh, uh, for me through, throughout this transition. Uh, you guys have been amazing for me. Uh, you guys have had your head down and, and working and made this thing seamless uh, for me in every uh, respect. Uh, last but not least, the players. What a group. You guys know it. Um, you guys are different. Uh, the hunger, uh, the energy, the enthusiasm that you guys show up with every single day. Uh, I've told you before, it is my privilege it is a blessing for me to be able to coach you guys. And so I am looking for, forward to every day I step on the field with you guys. You guys can trust that I'll have your back in every way. I will exhaust every resource possible to help you guys achieve what you're uh, setting out to achieve. And, and that's, what, uh, that's what this program will be about uh, for you guys. You guys know I, I just said it yesterday. This is about being students. Why is it about being students? Uh, because you won't always be an athlete. And so we will prepare you to be students for the rest of your lives. 
and uh, because you'll always be learning, and if you're always learning, you'll always be growing. And so we will prepare you uh, to do that, um, you know, as you spend your time here on this campus. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited about football. I'm excited about this football year. I'm excited about our football future. Um, as, as, I, as I look at it philosophy-wise for, for our group, um, you guys know we want to be an aggressive group. We want to be always on the attack. We want to be energetic. Uh, we want to make, make sure that every time someone turns on the tape, uh, they see that energy, they feel that energy. When we step off the bus, they feel that energy as well. We want to be a tough group mentally, physically. And we, want, we don't want to be tossed to and fro by the circumstances. Uh, we want to be able to handle prosperity. We want to be able to handle adversity with maturity. We want to be a smart group that comes with preparation. So that puts something on us as coaches to have you guys prepared each and every week. But it also puts something on you to handle that preparation each and every week as well. We want to be a, uh, a group that plays fast, the speed element of it. All right, that's, we, got, we got guys on the team that wake up fast. All right, they do everything fast. All right, but the most important part is playing fast, and that, that goes right back to preparation as well. If you know, if you know what to do and how to do it, uh, you know what your opponent is trying to do and how they are trying to attack you, all right, you will be able to play fast. All right, but for, I, I, I am excited about this day overall. I am excited about the university. Um, you guys in season are killing it right now. Uh, so that, that provides me an opportunity to, to just continue to roll with the enthusiasm and, and the energy that, that I've experienced uh, throughout uh, my time here. Um, but before I stop, I do want to thank my brother, Mike Furry. Um, this guy here is a random call, a random call on, on a Wednesday evening. And I was at swim with my daughter. And um, he called on that line and he, he offered me the opportunity to come down here. Uh, but for me, I always want to be around like-minded people. I always want to be around people that are about what you're doing and not about the surrounding stuff. And so he's a guy that loves football, but most importantly loves the kids and trying to give them every opportunity to succeed. And so when I met with him, I knew, I knew right from uh, that day that I wanted to be down here uh, at Limestone. But then he started to take me around campus. Then he started to take me around uh, the, the, uh, everyone that is working in administration. Then I started to meet coaches. Then I started to meet people who are supporting the programs and supporting in the university. And I said, man, this is a special place. And this is truly a gold mine. And so I, I am thankful for this opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to Limestone's future. Uh, this is not about just football. This is about the Limestone brand. And everybody knows about Limestone. And so uh, I'm excited about what, what, what the future holds on that end. Uh, but once again, thank you all for coming out. Um, looking forward to meeting uh, all of you uh, that I haven't met, and I look forward to uh, you guys continuing to support Limestone University, and uh, we will uh, do our best to make you proud in every respect. Thanks again. interrupt all that applause for you coach again just a, a reminder to our, our media folks coach will be available uh, for some one-on-one -on -one interviews and everybody that's here too please I, it, that'll take a few minutes but stick around say hey to coach say hey to his his uh, lovely wife and, and children and, and get to know him if you hadn't had an opportunity get a photo with him if you'd like to thank you I can't believe this this uh, this crowd today on such an ugly day but uh, what a beautiful day for limestone thank you all for being here uh, what a great day to be to be a saint thank you For our media folks, too, uh, Matthew Ferris, wave your hand, Matthew, if you need some help getting something lined up. We've got some football players uh, if you'd like to interview them as well.
Thank you.